Pooja, it's over to you. Take us through what's really happening there. How many people have really gathered? Pooja, if you can hear me, take it away. Take us through what's happening around you. Yes. Pooja, can you hear me? All right, here at the Bakshi Stadium, you can hear the roars and the cheer. Look at that. Look at that. Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has arrived. And you can see people here waving and cheering. Let the people speak for themselves. Who says that these people have been brought in by force? Because if, if you really look at the effort that has been put in by these people, that they are cheering and, you know, the, the fact that I see this is in Kashmir is absolutely incredible. It's a moment difficult to look at because, you know, it was at one point unbelievable. Can so many people cheering for not only Prime Minister Modi, but as much for Kashmir as for a Naya Kashmir for India will gather at the Bakshi Stadium. As Sachin Chandok, if possible, he can show you. Look at the numbers from where till where the eye goes. There are more and people who have arrived from across the Kashmir Valley. What does this say if not reflect the situation on the ground? Opposition parties have said these are people who have been forced to come. But when you start talking to them, you realize they are willing to give Kashmir another chance, a chance of peace, hope and opportunities here from inside the Bakshi Stadium. It's a visual that's very heartening to me personally as well. Because for the amount of violence and tensions and hartal and deaths that we've seen in Kashmir, for me to see this moment, is at least a reference of hope, is a signal that possibly Kashmir can see peace and develop just like other cities and possibly much more with the effort and determination. The G20 banner in Kashmiri handicraft style has been made by that artisan and we try and get in. Look at that. The maps of India that have been made in Kashmir Karigari style hand knit by these artisans. How can this be by force, if you really ask? That's what Bakshi Stadium presently is, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But remember, there is a lot of responsibility on the shoulders of Prime Minister Modi. These people have given the BJP an opportunity. Prime Minister Modi is where the trust is. Now the Prime Minister and the government will have to prove that they can do much more for the people of Kashmir and ensure that this chance is taken up and they get the deserving opportunities here on with peace as well. One step that the government has taken, another that the people of this valley have taken. So, Pooja, getting us those glimpses from what's happening inside a sea of saffron, Pooja, interestingly, as these seem to be BJP supporters who've gathered in large numbers as well. We understand that there is a huge uh, chunk of women also who've turned up for this rally. Yes. Well, absolutely, Polomi. Of course, there is a fact that most of them are from the Bharatiya Janata Party. They are the supporters. They are the workers. There's no doubt about it. But that's also because the BJP's star campaigner, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is here. But when you look at the women who've turned up not hiding their faces, men who have turned up not hiding their faces, uh, then perhaps it is reflective that they are willing to be seen and heard as well in this Naya Kashmir. And we hope that uh, perhaps here on, uh, they, they also will find their voice and will get a peaceful Kashmir to live in with their children, with their future generations. But let's, let me be very clear. This is not about a completely changed Kashmir, of course. It's not that everything has turned normal. But to have such a visual years ago in peace would have been very difficult to come by. And perhaps that's, that's a beginning, that's a realization. And I can only imagine once Prime Minister Modi arrives at about 12 p.m. what the situation will be. Here on the ground, I can tell you that this chance has come with hope with Prime Minister constantly, not only wearing the cap, hoisting the tricolor, but hoisting it with their with their faces, with ensuring that let's give this valley another chance. Here in Bakshi Stadium,
it's renovated. You can count for yourself. Does it look like only hundreds of people have gathered? Or is it in thousands or is it in lakhs? It is anyone's guess. And, and we hope that perhaps most of them are as much for what next to come. Remember, Prime Minister Modi is as much here for what happened in 2019 and after that, the changes that have been seen. But there is a vision document. 2047. That vision document will be how Kashmir can continue to save. Sachin Sandok, uh, if I request Sachin to turn toward the left, you can see even toward the stairs and the balconies, it is packed completely. This is not a secondary visual. India Today team is inside the Bakshi Stadium to tell you how so many people who have gathered and are raising, are cheering for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. How many can be only from the BJP and how many are truly the residents of the Kashmir Valley? Paul, me, over to you. All right, Pooja Shali reporting live from inside the Bakshi Stadium. Uh, Pooja Akshita here. Uh, there have been some allegations from the opposition saying that this isn't an organic crowd, that these are people who've been brought together, who've been forced to come for the Prime Minister's rally. What's uh, you know, your sense from the ground? Where have these people largely come from? Are these Srinagar locals? Are they from other parts of Kashmir who've gathered there? Akshita, so clearly, you know, that is what the Congress and the National Conference have been claiming, that people have been brought here by force, people have been, uh, people have been uh, brought here specifically on, on a compulsory, mandatory basis. So, and, uh, and, you know, but that's my question here. That, and I asked that question to Dr. Nirmal Singh, who's also the former Deputy Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir from the BJP, and he said, you can bring one or two possibly bring a few dozens or even hundreds. There are thousands of lakhs of people who have gathered here. How many Kashmiris can you bring in by force here in at the Bakshi Stadium? And that is a fair point to make as well. Uh, are the opposition parties refusing to believe that there are a lot of people who are willing to welcome this change? And as uh, Manoj Sinha, who's uh, the lieutenant governor, is her arrived, he's arrived here at the stadium. And security concerns, of course, remain. There is a reason that you know, it even took me to enter into the Bakhi Stadium despite a lot of difficulties. But I can tell you, I also have to pan your eyes here to know Kashmir because I've covered it. I, it is my home state. It is the land of my ancestors. I know that if Kashmiris would want to put a view and a point, They'll put it directly. It's not that you can really force them and masses of population. So when you see so many of them turn up, is, are they also now sending a message that they've been fed up of the tensions and terrorism? They're fed up of the selfish politics that has happened here in Kashmir, which has led to a loss of so many lives. And possibly the Kashmiris want to say, let's give this a chance. If there is peace, with peace comes security, safety of families. With it comes opportunities and a hope. I repeat, not all is well and normal completely in Kashmir, but look at this. Is this perhaps a chance that Kashmir and Kashmiris deserve? And like I repeat, Prime Minister Modi has a big responsibility on his shoulders. The government and administration has to ensure this trust that the people of Kashmir are placing in him and the government. That must be also given back. It has to be a coordinated effort for Kashmir to see peace, not just for five years. I have been here at a time when children were at the forefront of violence, either pelting stones or getting injured, getting killed. We haven't seen that in five years and that says something, isn't it? So here at Bakshi Stadium, when I see men, women, youngsters be present, it's the trust they are putting in this government to say that we will support the initiatives, ensure that our valley is peaceful. And who does not want development, safety, security for their families? Like all of us, Kashmiris also do that here as well.